Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to sixth grade math converting measures lesson. Pause while you write the lesson title in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is I can convert units of measure between systems by completing practice problems with 100% accuracy in multiple attempts. Here's the Arizona standard that we'll be addressing today. Use ratio and rate reasoning to solve mathematical problems in real world context. Copy this key idea into your math notebook. Conversion factor. A conversion factor is a rate that equals one. And we have a relationship and conversion factors. So the example that you're shown here is one meter equals 3.28 feet. And then the conversion factor is we put that relationship into a fraction. And then if we take the reciprocal of that fraction, we have both of those conversion factors. So you can think of it as one meter equals 3.28 feet or one meter per 3.28 feet and 3.28 feet per one meter. Let's take a look at example one, converting units. Letter A, convert 36 quarts to gallons. So we're using a conversion factor, 36 quarts times one gallon per four quarts. So what we're doing here is we're taking 36 and we're essentially putting it over one because every number is itself over one. And then just like when we cross cancel numbers, we can also cross cancel units. So we're crossing out those quarts to make them go away because we don't want quarts anymore. We want gallons. And then we can cross cancel our numbers, four goes into itself once, four goes into 36 nine times, and nine times one equals nine. Although that isn't quite the way they showed you, they did the same thing. They did 36 times one equals 36, and then divided by four. So 36 quarts is nine gallons. If we convert 20 centimeters to inches we're using a conversion factor again we do the same thing 20 over 1 and we cross out the centimeters and then we have 20 times 1 equals 20 and 1 times 2.54 equals 2.54 and then we get a calculator and we divide 20 divided by 2.54 and that equals 7.87. And they're using these conversion factors from the book. Now, I am going to tell you now when you are doing your practice, if you use Google or some other resource for your conversion factors, you might not get things right. You need to use the conversion table that is part of your book and I have put it at the end of this lesson for you. It is also located in Appendix B in your online Big Ideas Math book. I'd also like to take a minute to show you an alternative way to do this. What you can do, and I'm gonna show you with letter B, is if you have, if you want to know how many inches there are in 20 centimeters, so 20 centimeters equals some inches, you can go to the conversion table at the back of your book, which is on slide nine here in this slideshow, and you will see that one centimeter equals 0 
inches. And then you can look at that and say, but I don't have one centimeter, I have 20 centimeters. So 20 centimeters times 0.39 equals, and again, you get out your handy dandy calculator and you multiply it and you get 7.8 inches. So you're going to come really close when you are doing these conversions. So that is an alternative way to do it. If, if you don't like this conversion factor and flipping things around and crossing things out. Let's take a look at example two, comparing units, copy and complete the statement using less than or greater than. So 25 ounces is less than or greater than two kilograms. So we're going to convert 25 ounces to kilograms. So we know that one pound equals 16 ounces and one pound is about equal to 45 kilograms. So 25 ounces is approximately equal to, that's what those wavy little equal signs mean, equal to, it's approximately equal to 25 ounces times one pound over 16 ounces. So we're going to cross out those ounces. So we're canceling those out. And remember that's a 25 over one. And then we're multiplying that by because we can't go directly to, from ounces to kilograms. We have to take a couple of steps here. So then we have to take, it, we are converting it to pounds and then we convert the pounds to kilograms. So one pound and we cross out the pounds and then we've got 0.45 kilograms. So if we follow that math, we end up with this. 25 times one, here's the one, times 0 0.45, and that's kilograms, divided by 16 over one, and that equals 0 0.7 kilograms, because 0.7 kilograms is less than two kilograms, 25 ounces is less than two kilograms. So again, I'm gonna show you an alternative way to do this. If you look at the back of the book, it tells you that one ounce or on slide nine equals 28.3 grams. So you can change your 25 ounces to grams. So if you look at that, you say, well, I have 25 ounces. I don't have one ounce. So I, to change that one into 25, I'm gonna multiply by 25. This is where we're using that ratio reasoning. If I multiply the one by 25, I have to multiply the 28.3 by 25. So 28.3 times 25 equals 707. Point five grams, not kilograms, grams. And then you need to think about, well, there are a thousand grams in a kilogram. So that means that grams are smaller than kilograms, which means that in order to change grams into kilograms, we need to divide and we need to divide by a thousand. So 707.5 grams, we, when we divide by powers of 10, we count the zeros, 707.5 divided by 1,000, we have three zeros. So we're going to take that decimal point and we're going to move it to the left three spaces. So that puts it at right before that seven, so that equals 0 
0.7075. And we would round our answer and get 0 0.70 or 0 0.71. So it would get us very close to what we got up here in the example. So these are just a couple of different ways that you can do this. So if you don't like doing those fractions, you can do this a different way. There's a different method for you. Now we're going to look at example three, converting a rate, and it says changing one unit. So how many liters does the human heart pump per minute? So it says over here, it pumps five quarts of blood per minute. So five quarts per minute. And then our conversion factor is one quart per nine. 0 0.95 liters. So again, we cross out the quarts and then we multiply five times 0 0.95 and we end up with 4.75 liters every one minute. So the rate of five quarts per minute is about 4.75 liters per minute. Here is that reference page that I was telling you about with all of your conversion factors on it. You need to be careful and read which heading you're under so that you're looking at the correct conversion factor. There's customary to metric and metric to customary. So you need to be sure you're getting the correct conversion factor. Those are what you're going to be using mostly. Um, and if you are looking for this outside of this slideshow, it is in Appendix B in your Big Ideas Math Book, online, and in hardcover if you happen to be using that. Please remember, you need to complete your notes in your Interactive Student Notebook, complete your Google Form questions, and review the lesson if you need to. Finish your Big Ideas Math Assignment in your Math Spiral Notebook and submit your Big Ideas Math Assignment when it is 100% correct, not before. Be sure you track your progress on your playlist.